There we go, now I'm unmuted. What's up? Wanted to do a, a chill stream. It's been months and months since I've played uh, this game. Getting over it. It's, it's a very relaxing game. Very kind of frustration free, you know. It's a really nice time. So I thought it would be fun to give it another go. I've never beat it yet. I don't know why. It's a really easy game. I think maybe I just got bored of it or something. I don't know. But I decided today to try to beat it. Or maybe just to make some progress in it. It's been so long since I've played it, so I'm probably pretty rusty. I wasn't gonna stream today. And then I decided to. I suddenly had a strong desire to play this game. And so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. <sighs> the farthest I've ever made it in this game is uh, up, up that way, up higher than this. Up to the point where the sky started to turn the same colors that it is in my, uh, on my border, in my border on, on my stream. Excuse me, that pink and purple there that you see. Or blue and, and pink, kind of. Yeah. There's a sunset, is my point. And we'll get to that at some point, hopefully, on this stream. That'd be nice. But for anyone who doesn't know, I started streaming for the first time playing this game. This was the first game that I ever streamed. I think I even bought it specifically to stream it. Which is kind of... Um, how it was designed, I think. <laughs> Thanks, Raven. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Good to see ya. I, uh, as I, I was saying just now that I've played this game before. It's been months and months and months since I've played this game. But it was the first game that I ever streamed. And, um... It's kind of how I started getting, a, like, a tiny bit of... Like, I, I, I got... I made some friends on Twitch streaming this game, and it was it was a good time. I haven't seen a few of those people in a while, but uh, it's it was fun. It was a really good time. This is a nice stress-free game to relax, too. Have you ever played this, Raven? Oh, hell, yeah. Yeah, I get that. I mean, no, I don't understand. Uh, you're gonna have to explain that to me. I don't understand how someone could ever dislike a game like this. I actually do really like this game. Don't ride the snake, yeah. <laughs> I don't actually know if I ever made it to the snake. I know about it, though. I don't, don't spoil the ending, though, if there is anything notable at the end. I, I've avoided, uh, any crazy spoilers. But this is what I used to do all the time. My first, uh, I want to say, first, like, five, ten streams that I ever did on this channel. By the way, let me know if the music is too loud or too quiet and all that. Shit, 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 shit. No. No, 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 no. Anyways, uh, yeah, I so I would play this game. Music's fine. Is this Mario? It's a good question. I could check actually, real quick, real quick. Let me check. This is Dusk at XS Express from Paper Mario: The, Th the Thousand Year Door. I don't usually have music on my streams, but for my first few streams, my first ten or so streams playing this game, I always had. Uh, a Shadow at Noon playlist, and if you don't know, Shadow at Noon is a- and I can actually bring this up real quick. Whoop! Fuck. <laughs> oh no, I skipped to a different part of the video because my hotkey to switch, uh, scenes also skipped over in the video. Okay, let's go back to where I was. Yeah, let's just go over, like, here. That's fine. Anyways, 
Yes, Shadow at Noon makes some really great Nintendo music playlists. And they have a whole, uh, a whole playlist in <laughs> my, <laughs> my, my countdown timer is still there for my, uh, tier lists from Returnal. Just ignore that. But they, uh, they make some really great playlists, and right now I'm listening to their stream-friendly Nintendo music playlist. So this is all Nintendo music that they've taken from the Nintendo games and made sure that it's, like, copyright-friendly for streams. So that's really nice. And I usually use that during my, uh, intros. During my, like, uh, may I make a request once this is over? Yeah, absolutely. You may make- you can make a request- a request right now if you want. As long as it's, like, uh, stream-friendly. As long as it's copyright- Not too, uh, not, as, as long as it's not gonna get me in a couple- in, in trouble, copyright-wise. But, um, yeah, I used to have, uh, these playlists playing in the background while I would play Getting Over It, and it was pretty much the only way I could stay, like, calm playing this game. It's how I stay cool and collected and not get too frustrated. Because the music's just really nice. That and the, the beer. I used to drink beer a lot playing this game. Not, like, a whole lot, mind you. Maybe, like, a couple bottles. So not- nothing crazy. What's up, Ronin? Welcome! Good to see you! Playing Getting Over It. I don't know if you, uh... If you remember, but this was... This was my thing. This is what I used to stream all the time back in the day. And so I'm returning to my roots tonight. Because I just had a, a, a sudden desire to play this game. How tired am I of... Wait, how tired are you getting of me showing up? Uh, not at all. Not, not at all tired, like honestly. I promise. <laughs> I love it when you're in the stream. Um, but I was talking about uh, my uh, Nintendo playlist. Ah, well, not my Nintendo playlist, but the playlist that I I listen to is a, a collection of videos by Shadow at Noon. So shout out Shadow at Noon and Raven. Oh. Dire Dire Docks. Oh yeah, Dire Dire Docks. Do Docks, I love. That's a great song. That'd be great for this vibe, absolutely. In fact, I bet... I don't know if this specific video that I'm listening to right now has it, but I bet one of them on this playlist has it. Maybe after this song I'll go and uh, pick that out. Awesome. Great. So this area that I'm in right now is where I usually spend the most amount of time. It's kind of my home in getting over it. It's my little home. This is where this is where Potman lives. His name's Potman, by the way. That's something we all decided. It is it's certainly a vibe. We all know Dire Dire Docks, I think. It's uh, one of the greatest uh, Mario songs. It's from Mario 64. Sounds like the song's over, so let me uh let me see if Dire Dire Docks is here at all. Okay, it's not on this specific one. Hmm, there's no way I could like actually uh, search for it within these Shadow at Noon playlists. You fell asleep to it. Let me just play it real quick, just for fun. And then once it's over, I'll switch back to the other playlist. Because I do love me some Dire Dire Docks. And that's something that I should, uh, oh, let's see. Three minutes, that's good. Just the song. I don't want it to repeat, I don't think. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Pop Man, welcome to the stream. Not Darude Sandstorm. Okay, here we go. Hotman's dancing along with the music. It's a vibe. <laughs> Maybe I'll play Mario 64 at some point. I have the, uh, the one on Switch, the 3D All-Stars collection. Shit. So I'm, um, like I said, I have some experience with this game. I'm not great at it, but like, 
I can pull off some moves. A little bit. Not really. It's kind of a crapshoot. Anything I do, it's kind of a 50-50 chance if it'll actually work. Look at that. That's pretty badass, right? I didn't mean to do that, but it looked cool, kind of. I also have a different mouse from when I used to play. I've bought a new mouse since then. So, and this mouse that I'm using right now is not a gaming mouse. The mouse that I bought is actually more for, uh, like, uh, content creators, I guess. I mean, that sounds weird. It's not like it's branded specifically towards content creators. It's like for uh, people who use, like, creative programs and stuff, I guess. Um, as long as I don't get striked by Nintendo, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Shit is crazy these days. I remember at one point a long time ago, not that long ago, but at one point I remember Nintendo had some sort of program that you could join, like, to be allowed to, like, play games on your channel without get, uh, without worrying about getting a copyright strike, and no one liked that. Every, I mean, everyone was, was upset at them for this. Okay, don't fall. Don't fall, Potman. Just play Darude Sand. I'm not gonna play Darude Sandstorm. I'm not gonna do it. Maybe I will. Maybe if I can find like a chill version of Darude Sandstorm. The beat did drop. It didn't sound like this on the original, did it? I guess it did. I just don't remember it sounding like this. Like it sounds like there's some some uh, some editing some someone edited some more sound onto it, but probably not. I probably am just used to only hearing the beginning part of it. Hell yeah, I'm doing not terrible. Now I just have to be really careful. Hopefully I didn't just jinx it. There's a jump scare here if I remember correctly. Yeah, there it is. In fact, is the sound even on? I don't. I didn't really hear that. It is. I mean, I guess I've been hearing all the other sound effects. I could have sworn there, there was a sound effect for that jump scare, though. But what do we got now? Gerudo Valley. Hopefully this doesn't get me copyright trouble. I also have beer in the freezer, so it will be like old times. Um, I'm just waiting for it to get real cold, you know? I'm surprised I'm here already. Almost there? No. Maybe. I don't know. This is, um, I've been stuck around this area for a while last time I used to stream this. I've never beaten the game. I don't know if I've mentioned that. If I beat this, that would be amazing. That would make, that would make me, make me so happy. Today I've been, I'm gonna be totally honest with y'all, not been in a great mood today. Been feeling a little bit down. Th that would make my day though. I wasn't going to stream initially because of that, but then I had like a sudden urge to stream. I was like, I really want to stream and I want to play this. I want to play this game specifically. And I want to talk to my friends. So, hopefully, hopefully I can- if I don't beat it though, that's also fine. I'm not expecting to beat it. I'm almost there? I'm not almost there. There's still some stuff- I mean, maybe I am, but there's still some stuff that gave me enough trouble last time I used to play this game. Or I would be stuck in this area, like, in the next few parts of this game for, like, hours. Do you know this game pretty well, Raven? Like, do, uh, do you know the map of this game? Like, uh, do you remember it pretty well? Shit. This part's difficult. I just want good vibes tonight. That's all. I just want to relax, play this game, have no expectations of where I'll get with it, and have fun talking to, to some cool people. And listen to some great Nintendo music. Okay, come on. Oh shit, that part's so hard. Once you're in the snow section, it's the home stretch, yeah. Julian, can I interest you in some relaxing film discussion? Absolutely. Yeah, anytime, if anyone has any good uh, topics of conversation, do not hesitate. 
yesterday, last night was a Metroid stream. And so that was all Metroid, all the time. All I wanted to talk about was Metroid. But today, anything, anything goes. I mean, yesterday anything could have gone too. I just had a lot to say about Metroid <laughs> and was kind of uh, monopolizing the conversation. Ooh, my timer just went off. You know what that means? It's beer o'clock. Uh, Ronan and I will... Uh, oh, directing is getting worse. I will ask what you mean about that when I come back with some brewskis. So, uh, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Now we go from one Nintendo song to a different Nintendo song, because I forgot to take off that one song from that one screen. In fact, let me go back to the other playlist, just so I know that it's all copyright safe. Sorry the game disappeared when I did that. Oh no! Okay. So what do you mean by directing is getting worse? Do you mean like, direction in movies just is getting worse? I agree to an extent. There's a lot less creativity in movies in general. And I think that's just because of the, uh, constant, infinite, gr infinite growth that capitalism demands from art. And obviously that's not growth in terms of, uh, artistry, but it's growth in terms of, uh, budget and, uh, scale. The black screen scared you? Oh no. <laughs> it's fine. It's all here. When I, when I tab out to a different window, sometimes uh, the game will go black on the stream, but it's still open in the background. I think that a shocking amount of modern direction is losing focus on how to, like, block basic shots. Yeah. I think just a lot of, uh, a lot of bigger budget movies, less, less time is spent on direction, especially directing actors, um, and, uh, and, and, yeah, and, and blocking and stuff like that, because more time is spent on, like, the special effects, and just, like, uh, everyone having a, everyone have, make, making a, a product for, for the masses to enjoy. Now everybody's a writer-director as if everybody's certified for being this, both at the same time, yeah. And Raven, you're, you're making a movie script? That's so cool. What kind of movie script? Is it like a short film or is it a, a feature? And then kind of the opposite of the writer-director problem is there's a lack of uh, a creative voice in a lot of- and I'm mostly thinking of Marvel movies here, obviously. It's kind of the easy target with this topic. It's more like a short film? Okay, that's great. Um, this part's giving me so much trouble. Uh, but yeah, like in like the Marvel movies, for example. Generally, there's less, less of a creative voice because it's more of a studio production. And also, I feel like there's less, I mean, obviously, I don't know the specifics of what happens behind the scenes, but it feels like there's less direction for the actors. It feels like the actors are mostly just allowed to... Uh, kind of do whatever they want. And I don't have an issue, necessarily, with, uh, actor, like, improvisation or anything like that. I think that 
I mean, I think that actors are, aren't, they're not there to be your, you know, your, your robot or whatever that does exactly what you think they should do. They, they, they need to offer their own input. They, you know, they're becoming the character. They, they should, they should transform the character in some way from how the character is in the script to their own vision of the character. But also, you get, I made it, I made it to the top here. Now this next jump. This is the one that actually gave me, like, an, an insane amount of trouble. I mean, the corporate problems are certainly obvious and awful, but I wanted to focus on the lack of basic discipline that smaller filmmakers don't seem to have anymore. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't seen as many smaller films in the past couple years. I'm mostly watching, like, the bigger ones that everyone's talking about. And then I'm just, you know, I'm... It's hard. It's hard for me to find, uh, not even find time, just find the motivation to watch a movie. Consisting of pop culture characters, Doom, Slayer, Seven, Set, Deadly Sin characters, Death Gods, and Demons, and all that good shit. That's fun. I love fan fiction. Fan fiction, fan fiction can be an art, I, I think. Oh, damn. This jump. But on a separate topic, I'd like to discuss John Mulaney. Sure. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know much about John Mulaney. I mean, I've seen his specials. I don't know them word for word like a lot of people do. A lot of references to specials that I've seen, even, go over my head. So that... That little, uh... What is that, like a hat hook, I guess? Always throws me off, because you're not actually supposed to grip onto that. It looks like you can kind of grip onto it, but you can't really. That's okay, I'd rather talk. Okay, I heard like a sizzle from like the thing where all my wire, like my giant gr like uh, thing of wires where my computer is plugged in and all my other stuff is plugged in. And that scared me. So hopefully I don't explode today. Gonna, I'm just gonna check this out real quick. Okay, I'm like a little scared, but um, hopefully that doesn't happen again. And you know what I'm really... <sighs> this, I'm hoping that it's not because I tried plugging in my Wii U yesterday. Yesterday I tried plugging in my Wii U, and stupidly I did this over, like I unplugged it and replugged it in like over and over again. And each time I did it, it made like a little like, pew, noise. And I couldn't tell where it was coming from, and I thought yesterday that it, yesterday that it was coming from the console itself. But it might have been, um... <laughs> That's true, I don't want to get banned for dying on stream. <laughs> um... That- that's the worst thing about that situation. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I wasn't sure if that was a sound the Wii U made, or if it was a sound that, like, the wires made, or the outlet in the wall made. <laughs> no, <laughs> Ala lights out. <laughs> uh, okay, ooh! Ooh! Oh shit! I almost made it. Okay. That's the thing is, even when I make a- when I do a really high jump like that, I don't know how to replicate that. It's always almost like a fluke. But this music is such a vibe, and nothing- nothing's worrying me. The raindrops keep falling on my head. If I had a hot dog, I'd bite it right now. A la Spider-Man 2. There we go. Whew! Okay. I mean, I know it's from a different movie. Wait, I didn't even know it was from a movie. I thought it was just the song. I mean, I knew it wasn't like from... I knew it wasn't like made for Spider-Man 2. Took grad photos today? Congrats! Congrats on graduating. 
In fact, it's from one of your favorite films. It won an Oscar for the song. What what uh what movie is it from? <clears throat> more where that came from. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I haven't seen that one. I mean, I know about it. That's a famous movie. I haven't seen it, though. Damn. I made the jump once. Damn. It's really tough. Okay. Shit. Damn, that's so hard. I would love to beat this game today. Oy. Rick, is that you? Is that from Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? I wouldn't know. No. We can do this, Pop Man. It's you and me. We can do it. I believe in us. Fuck. Oh, is it a Rick and Morty reference? I think you're making that up. Come on, Pop Man. All you have to do is jump over there. It's easy. I could do it. If I was in your shoes, I would do it. So I don't know why you're not doing it. That's right. I need to just focus all of my, my gamer energy on this one jump. Ah. I didn't focus enough of my ga that was like That was like 40% gamer energy. Let's just slowly dial it up. <laughs> Let's do 50% gamer energy. No, that was even worse somehow. Okay, let's... Should we try 70% gamer energy? Let me just get into gamer mode here. Okay. It's... G gamer mode has been... <laughs> gamer mode has been activated. Damn, that was even worse! Maybe I shouldn't activate any gamer energy. Maybe this should be 0% <laughs> gamer energy. His name's Popman, that's all. He has no other name. Maybe he has a first name. Maybe his last name is Popman. James Popman. Timothy Popman. I don't know. Some, you know, boring first name. Feel the tobuscus flowing through me. I don't want to. I don't want to feel that. No, thank you. Shit. That was another one. A little jump scare. Sorry if that spooked anyone. Shit. Channel. <laughs> That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> it's time to be 2014 gamers. I will channel the power of 2014 gamers. That's a lot of gamers. It's not even October yet. Don't name old YouTubers. That's not allowed. You will be banned. That's explicitly one of the rules in my chat don't name old YouTubers. Actually, I should change my chat rules, probably. I think right now my chat rules, like, one of them says, like, be, like, a nice person or whatever. Which is, you know, I feel like that includes, uh, you know, be, uh, don't, don't, don't say anything bigoted or e even as a joke. Um, 
but last stream we had a kind of transphobic joke in, in the chat and I feel like I should probably update the rules to to say like no bigotry of any kind You know what, here, have my gamer energy, thank you Raven, I appreciate that. St. Andrews, Chilled Chaos, Eat My Addiction, Toby Turner, Tate. I don't recognize, like, half of these people. In fact, I only recognize St. Andrews and Toby Turner, that's it. I don't know about St. Andrews, but Toby Turner's, like, a pretty, uh, shitty human, human being, as far as I know. I'm pretty sure he abused someone. I don't remember the specifics, though. And to be honest, I don't really want to talk about it. <gasps> it's good vibes tonight. Good vibes. On this stream. Shit. So, as you can tell, I'm gonna be stuck- Oh, Nisian, Jesus Christ. That guy sucks. That guy's one of the worst. Oh, speaking of- kind of speaking of Onision. There's this really great YouTuber who I like, that I recommend, called Strange Aeons. Strange Aeons? Strange Aeons? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. The first letter in the second word there is like a combination of A and E. I don't know what you call that letter. It's not in the English alphabet. <laughs> but, um... I'm sure if you just search it using A and E, I'm sure it'll work. But Strange Aeons... She's, uh... She makes really good videos. Just like fun videos, very fun energy. They're not, you know, uh, yeah, that, that one. Thank you, Raven. They're not like particularly uh, informative or anything like that. Maybe sometimes, sometimes they are. Uh, and they're not, you know, serious really at all. They're just fun little cute videos about uh, talking about uh, maybe like badly written books. Or, uh, Lindsay Ellis dropped a new video today? I'll have to check that out. Love Lindsay Ellis. Um. I'm not keeping up with all my YouTubers, though, that I follow. <laughs> there are too many. There are too many good YouTubers out there. I should do a really high jump. I'm trying to do a really high jump. I promise. <laughs> and now I'm stuck down here. It's hard to do, uh, oh shit, there's a fly in here. Damn. I can't even tell if I got him. I hope you guys got a good look at my shirt. He might have fallen to the floor. It didn't look like a fly actually, it looked like something else. I tried to squish it with my bare hands, which I don't usually like to do with bugs, but flying bugs I absolutely will try to kill them. Crawling bugs I try to maybe sometimes let outside. I cannot stand any sort of flying bug, though. Damn, I'm gonna- let me look one more time, see where it went. I don't know where it went. It may have fallen somewhere on the floor, maybe. I tried to squish it real good with my hand, though. What's up, real, uh... Oh boy. Real... Jotaro Kujo? I hope I pronounced that right. If not, let me know. I try to pronounce everyone's names right. Welcome to the stream. Hope you have fun. Thanks for the follow. Oh, man. That fly is gonna be in the back of my head for the rest of the stream. Close enough? Okay. I hope so. Uh. Anyways, uh, just so you know, there's a fly in my room, I think. Or some sort of flying insect. It was actually kind of like, it was like a brownish color. Looked more beetle-like, maybe, but it was small. Looked like a cross between a beetle and a fly. 
And I hate beetles, so it didn't really, it, and it didn't like spook me that much like a beetle would, like a cockroach or something, so it's not that kind of insect. New follow ping? Uh, no. Um, I think just when I play games like Returnal or any, any console game, um, I think I might mute my desktop audio so you don't hear the, the follow noise. Imagine how many nerd, how many nerd I would have played if I was an actor in the 80s. Why can't I play nerds right now? <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Oh man. All actors have to be physically perfect now. Are you saying I'm not physically perfect? I have the body of a god. Have you ever seen pictures of Arnold Schwarzenegger shirtless? They're actually not really him. Um, they take pictures of me and they photoshop his face onto them. Falling simulator? I don't know why Arnold was like my, my go-to for like really buff celebrity. Cause he's kind of old now. I mean, I'm sure he's still like pretty fit, but you know, he's older now. Uh-oh. Automod held an, uh, a message for aggression. <laughs> Just because... <laughs> okay, I'll allow it. I'm sorry, Julian, this is meant to be a neat compliment and now I fucked it up. It's okay. <laughs> no one's physically perfect, except for me. But it's fine if you don't think I am, because that's, uh, that's how opinions work. <laughs> um, now I fucked it up. For some reason, Automod flagged that as, uh like rude or whatever i think maybe because of your your cussing so tone it down on the with the f with the f word don't use the fuck word on in my chat 